Hey y'all, I'm back today. Here's my second video for tonight. And um, it is concerning. It's a re-up on the whole Andy Mac situation. Now, I have just watched the scene where it happened. And, um, or not where it happened, but where it was kind of, it came out and was revealed that um, Jonah, or the whichever, whichever one of the kids, like Jonah, uh, the boy was gay. What was his name? Chris? I forgot. But nonetheless, um, I, I don't watch this show. But I did want to, you know, I think I said something about keeping up with the situation on the last video. If I didn't, I did want to just to see like how it came out because, you know, and this was something that I meant to bring up on the other video, but we'll get into that in a second. But I watched it and he was talking to the little black mixed girl or whatever. I guess this is like Disney Channel. This uh, show is like their uh, Disney version of... Uh, not switched at birth, but the other show uh, with the adopted family that's on ABC. I will not call them Freeform because that shit just, uh, that sound lame to me. But um, ABC family, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, the Fosters. It looks like a Disney event channel version of The Fosters. Maybe I'm getting the wrong vibe. I haven't watched an episode. I literally just watched that scene, but I see the little black mixed girl. You know, if they're just friends, well, I'm sorry for making that assumption. But nonetheless, um... Nonetheless, he's talking to the little black girl and, you know, he's, he ends up telling her that he's jealous. And then she asks, um, do you like Andy? And he said, not of her. And that's when it kind of registered in her mind. Oh, that's what you meant. And in the end, that was everything was smooth there. And in the end, though, he did say something that kind of like alarmed me when he said, uh, now he has a girlfriend. And then she laughed. And then the scene cuts off or either that or I stopped watching. Uh, or no, the scene cuts off. So, yeah. That was the scene that I watched. Now, one thing I did want to bring up on the last video that I just blanked out. I was having headaches again, and I couldn't get it together. But one thing I do want to bring out is the difference between the word is is the the point of the acceptance that is made by a lot of the LGBTQ members. Now, I brought up to y'all, you know, Disney age range, Disney's age range does is it's wide, you know, Disney Channel. You know, I know 30 year olds who still watch Disney Channel religiously, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm not a person that judges on something that petty, you know, but, um, you know, when speaking of the whole acceptance thing, now, and I will say this is a clerical error. I hope I use that word right. Clerical error in, in the whole LGBT um, people who are supporting this. The point of the um, acceptance now. Um, I, like I said in the last video, you know, to a 13 year old, this could be helpful to an eight year old, you know, I had said after I had made the video, you know, and I thought about it beforehand, but I had my ADHD was adding up. I'm trying to naturally wane off of it. So I couldn't really, as you can see now I'm getting off topic, <laughs> but I couldn't really remember all that I meant to say. And I didn't want to say it half ass and offend people. Now I will say one thing. I remember what it was like being an eight year old. The word gay did not come to my mind at all. I didn't really, and I feel like, you know, most kids aren't even sexually active, hopefully not, at that age anyway. So, you know, me worrying about my child having to see two men kiss at age eight, unless we're in public or something like that, you know, I, I don't really think, you know, the, the, the point of acceptance is a valid point because kids are kids, you know, just speaking in terms of like, you know, kids on the playground, whatever, they'll befriend you if, you know, y'all into saying, oh, the boys like, you know, the do the nerf guns okay boom right there the girls like to you know play with lip gloss boom right there they friends that's how eight-year-olds operate so the younger kids like i said up until about 13 you know maybe 12 because these kids move a little faster i don't see the point of acceptance me or being a valid point because children are children you know they friends with this person one day they're not friends and it did with them the next day and then they're back to besties and it's not a thing of even being gay is just regular kid shit. You know, that's what happens. Excuse my language. But so I, I, to an extent, I can't fully support the is teaching children acceptance because children tend to be accepting of people when they're children. You know, it's when they get to, you know, tween years and teen years that they start really developing their own opinions. Unless you have just like one of those you know, tiger mom type of children who, you know, you push them and they was in violin and stuff and they're eight years old and they know three languages, you know, unless you got a kid like that, you know, the average kid is accepting anyways, you know, is accepting of everything anyways, you know, and even I can say, honestly, even if an eight year old saw, you know, two men kissing in the park or, you know, they would ask mom and keep it moving. You know, I, I can't. So 
I'm pretty sure, you know, kids are very carefree, you know, they forget about shit, you know, in the next five minutes. So, you know, to bring up the point of acceptance at that age range, because I'm sure there are eight year olds that watch Andy and Mac, you know, to me, that's not really a passable excuse. Now, on the on the latter side of it, you know, the 13 year olds and up, the, you know, the 19 year olds that watch the show. Well, then, yeah, that may be helpful to them. But I did want to call that out because, you know, teaching acceptance to kids is not something that you really got to do until they get older. Unless you just want to go ahead and nip that part in the bud at a young age. I don't see a point in that for the younger kids. Now, like I said, and I just want to be clear on that. You know, the tween years, 12 and up. OK, I can kind of see how this show, this part of the show can help them. Now, I would still need to see how it plays out. And that was a nice, by the way, I did talk about the undertones in the last video. That was a nice, subtle way of them bringing it to light. And um, that's where I don't have pro is if it's subtle. Now, if I watch the next episode, if I hear something from somebody about the next episode and the guys are kissing, well, then, yes, I will understand. I, I can't lie. I will understand people's outrage because, like I said, you have to remember there are age groups that watch this shit. And some parents, you know, especially black folks, I'm going to keep it real, black folks, homophobia and black folks don't really mix. So, um, which I'm not saying there aren't black people. I'm just saying, like, black folks know what I'm talking about. So, you know, that, um, you know, if, if they got their kid watching it and that all of a sudden two men kiss, you know, some, you know, that's going to be a problem, more than likely. Eight times out of ten, let me say eight. <laughs> but especially in a black house, in, in a black hole, household especially. But nonetheless, you know, um, we all know us brothers and sisters know how they go. <laughs> but, you know, now now if that happens, you know, they got the two boys on their kissing. Well, then I can understand that. And I'm going to say it's not even just because they're boys, but because these kids look about like 13, you know, 14, you know, something like that. Like usually on the older on the Disney channel and Disney has changed a lot. But usually when the characters kiss, they're like older. They're at least playing the role of a, like a 16-year-old, 17-year-old. I look at Andy Mack and I look at them. They look about 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They're characters, you know. Even in the short scene I watched, the boy sounds empty bells and his prob balls probably haven't dropped yet. He look about 12, you know. So seeing two, a 12-year-old period kissing on Disney Channel with another 12-year-old, that was Thwarka outrage outraging me anyways, you know. The fact that it's gay and uh, I wouldn't, I really, you know, just me, the type of person I am, I wouldn't even be worried about it. I'm worried about the fact that you got the two 12-year-olds kids. Like. So it would, it, would, it would depend on seeing how that part plays out. You know, does he tell the boy? Does If he tells him, does the boy kiss him back? Do they, you know, like, does he accidentally, his lips fall on the boy on accident? Because, you know, that happens with some of y'all quote-unquote straight men, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, I would just need to see how it plays out. You know, so that's that's what I wanted to cover on that, though. And the other part I wanted to cover, um, let me make sure I was good on that part. Yeah, I would just need to see how it plays out from then on. And, you know, if like I'm not I'm still not going to watch the show. But I mean, if that's some, something like that happens, if the two boys kiss, it, it will probably make hit the damn news because, you know, the news stations don't be reporting real news nowadays anyways. Um. So, like, I will I will find out without me having to watch the show if the boys kiss. But nonetheless, um, we'll see how I'll see or we'll see how that plays out. And if if I need to recover it, I will. Or re-up on it, I will, just like on this video. Um, now one thing I did want to call out is the whole girlfriend comment. And I mean it was made it was made loosely. You know, I do know gay men, they did tend to do that with their gay friends who are no, with their best friends, sorry, who are girls. One issue I do see, you know, whenever on TV, and this may be what a lot of men have an issue with that are really legit straight. Because, you know, I know a lot of men who say they're straight and then, you know, they're going to be trying to hit you. Uh, uh, hit you. You know, I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> but this is one thing that I will say that a lot of men pro might have a problem with, with gay people, but they don't really realize it because they're too busy being, you know, masculine in their head and no nah, bro that gay shit da, 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 da. it ain't that serious but i will say this is one issue and even for me this is something that what i watch for in certain things especially in older shows like especially black sitcoms and spec um in particular now on this show he literally just said girlfriend it wasn't like he flicked his hand or something but the effeminate part or the feminine part have you said that word that part is one thing that i find issue with it's like you know it seems like you can't have a gay 
cast character without them being some type of feminine, you know? And that's one thing that I feel like Hollywood exploits that a lot, especially with, like I was saying with the black sitcoms, like whenever somebody walked up on, you know, if it was a show like Martin or a show like uh, the the Marlon or the Wayne's Brothers or any type of those old shows, um, you know, on the Parkers, I remember um, the boy from uh, Keenan and Kel. Yeah, he was on there as a gay uh, character. But he was, his name was Freddie, if I'm not mistaken. He had a perm and he was, oh, girl, da, da, da. And it's like, you know, you can display a gay character without doing all of that. And I do feel like that is something, honestly and genuinely, um, that sways straight men away from being accepting of gay men. Because they're not all like that. You know, I've had friends or people that I was friends in high, with in high school who have hit me up later on. And, um, like, you know, just, I had one just a couple months ago hit me up. He's gay now. He's with a man, you know, but in school he was, you know, like you would have, you would have never known, you know, he was taller than me, you know, and he was very, you know, I know me, you know, um, I know how I am, you know, my mannerisms and stuff. He was a lot more, I don't want to say, well, yeah, manlier, yeah, manlier than me. You know, his voice was deep. Like you just wouldn't have, you know, if you were trying to go based off that, like you, it wouldn't have been a thought in your head, you know? Um, but yeah, he, he liked men the whole time and I had no damn idea. So, um, it definitely, you know, um, I feel like if they, more characters like that were displayed, like I can say Jamal on Empire, I felt like dudes, especially when Empire first came out, I like the fact that they started him out gay. Um, and then even when they did like the whole Lucius throwing him in the trash can thing, he was a kid when he dressed up some boys when they're when they're young they do that anyways just because they think it's funny but he was a kid when he dressed up and the way they displayed it it displayed it in the sad way with the um whole song playing i like how they did that because it was probably better received than him coming down as a grown man dressed in some shit and even you know now i watch you know he wears like white men sweaters you know like that's the most suspect thing on him but jamal is still a man he's very you know like He's got some masculine in him. And I feel like because of that, niggas who watch Empire, they accept that more than, you know, they'll accept, you know, somebody like I brought up on the Parkers, the Freddy character from Keenan and Kel, or the, from the guy who played Keenan and Kel. They'll expect that more than some man, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. you know, especially when it comes to black sitcoms, especially with black men, because most black men that are older, they realize that black men's fragility and masculinity is always in danger and under attack in white America. So I definitely, you know, I, for that part, that definitely, I caught that when he said, I got a girlfriend now. And he was calling the girl's girlfriend. Now, like I said, he still didn't do any type of hand motions or none of that, you know, super feminine stuff that even girls don't do. So, um, I, I just, like I said, I'll be watching for how it plays out. And if anything else new comes, I will let y'all know. And I will, you know, re-up on it should I see it's necessary. I also want to point out, I have a link down below. You can view it. It's actually, um, this is not the first time that Disney Channel has had a gay character. It's just the first time it's really been announced. As far as I know. The only scene I watched out of these scenes was the Good Luck Charlie one because I did watch it. Because I was like, Good Luck Charlie, what the hell is it? Because um, I watched Good Luck Charlie. That mom was funny to me. Like, she's funny as shit. Um, and, you know, just, I like, I like that show. And, um, so I watched Good Luck Charlie, um, and I did see the scene, and I did peak game, but it didn't really stick with me like that, because, I mean, it was just like, eh, it was because, and it was probably because it was two females, but, um, one of the kids came for a play that, I guess, or whatever, they had two moms, so, you know, um, and, and it, they played it off as they usually play those episodes, you know, the mom has a kind of more, you know, gender neutral name, I think the name was Taylor, and Taylor ended up being a more, uh, a girl. You know, so they kind of dance along the subject of the parents are lesbians or in a le lesbian relationship. Because she said this is her other mom. It wasn't like she was like, this is my friend. She said it was her other mom. So I do want to point out that Disney Channel has subtly beforehand or has beforehand subtly introduced gay characters. It just, you know, in that instance, it was subtle. You know, I don't know about the other three scenes before that because I watched that one and I watched Andy Mac. So there were three scenes I did not watch from shows I didn't care to watch. Any, at any rate, and two shows I didn't even know, or movies, and or movies, I don't know um, for sure which one they are, but I will say that, um, you know, that was something I didn't even really register in my mind, but I did remember as soon as, as, soon as I saw it, 
So, you know, um, excuse me. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what direction they take this. And, you know, I will, like I said, if I need to re-up on one, a video on this, I will definitely, you know. At the end of the day, I do believe everybody needs to support everybody, you know, regardless. And allow people to be them, you know. Just mind your, mind your business. Keep it moving and mind your business. That's something that me and my cousin say. That's not like her saying, and I kind of robbed it. <laughs> but that's, you know, what we do. Mind your business. We look at something and we see it. If it's off in public, if it looks off, we just be like, you know what? Mind your business. You know, this, you know, and people can really take away from that. Your motto, you know, mind your own damn business. Stop worrying about what people is doing in bed. As long as they ain't doing you, you don't need to be worried about it. You know, and just keep it moving, man. You'll, you'll stress yourself out trying to worry about everybody else's life. People that don't even know you and shit. So, you know, it is what it is, though. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Have you seen the scene? You know, did you find it a bit too much? You know, um... How do you feel about the direction Disney Channel is going with the show? You motherfuckers, why you see the taboo motherfuckers? You can get it too, motherfucker. Fuck over this bitch, the kid popping so the fizz. Yeah, I go by young hoes, I take over in this bitch. Y'all some acts and poses for your roles to get hit. I will be rap, so I'm. Hey yo, tell them shout out to my coasters. Yes, I'm quite boastful. Y'all fucking with the kids, shit, I call y'all boastful. <laughs> I'm at your boy, yes, I'm in my seat. Ain't Zendaya's news, but I stays on replay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, ah. Fuck you, Paige. Jessica. 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 Off and lick. Down. Each nut nicely. Treat the dick like your past piece. Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name? I'm imagining daddy. Just to be respectful. Let me shove it in. No shove. Like red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Wait, 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 wait.